we can project the Bears to draft Caleb Williams. I'm actually happy with this. I'd have made peace with it by now. And if you're a Bears fan that's out there and you still haven't made peace with it, you got to look at this for what it is, bro. You should be proud of the Bears for turning the page and starting something new. Because I know it was a lot of drama about the Justin Fields and, and if they'll keep him and trade him and, and other guys were vouching for him. But, bro, honestly, ask yourself, when is the last time you could have confidently looked at the Bears roster and said, you know what? We're better than we were before on paper. We have a lot of weapons on our offensive end. When's the last time you could have looked at the Bears roster and genuinely said that and, and believe what you were just saying? Because having Keenan Allen, DeAndre Swift, DJ Moore, uh, Cole Komet, and then adding the cornerback uh, Jalen Johnson, bro, this is huge for the Chicago Bears, bro. And I know some people are still salty about it, but like, bro, this is huge. Stacking this roster up, you almost put Caleb Williams in a situation where he cannot fail. It would be extremely difficult for a quarterback to not thrive with all of these weapons that he has on the offensive end here. And the best part about this is the Bears still have the ninth pick in the draft, which is amazing. They can still make some moves. We've seen GM Ryan Poles. He's been making magic all offseason. So I don't know like why we wouldn't believe that he's not going to continue to do this on draft night and on leading up to the draft night. So I'm excited. Maybe we'll grab another offensive piece with that ninth pick. I think we should. Um, it, there's a lot of good prospects for, for wide receivers and tight ends and stuff um, in the draft this year. So, you know, I'm excited about that. But the, the biggest thing with the NFL draft is, or with the Chicago Bears, I should say, is we got to make sure we actually develop a quarterback because the Bears, they have not been doing a good job at developing quarterbacks in the past. And now that we have someone who is clearly the best quarterback this year coming out of college, you know, we got to really take advantage of that because these these opportunities don't come too often. And, you know, when they're here, you got to make sure we capitalize. Caleb Williams, that's a bad dude, bro. That's a bad dude. And I know I hated on him a little bit back and forth because media they push these narratives that's kind of crazy sometimes and I, I can't stand hearing all of it but ultimately when you compare Kayla Williams to these other guys in the league Drake May um, you, you look at um, Michael Penix Jr. Josh Daniels Kayla Williams is that he's the best quarterback in this draft and we get an opportunity to have him on the team so we got to do right by Kayla Williams